Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to add new HubSpot leads to Salesforce. So imagine this, you have created a new contact in HubSpot. Let's say John. So you have John's name, email address and all those details. Now you plan to add John as a lead in Salesforce just for backup. So here you have two choices. The first choice is copy all details of John from HubSpot, sort it out and manually add this data in Salesforce to create a lead. The problem with this approach is it's actually very repetitive and tiresome. So I would suggest that you bring in some automation so that whenever a new lead is added in HubSpot, it will automatically create a lead in Salesforce. So in this video, we will be using Public Connect to integrate HubSpot and Salesforce. The best part of using Public Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so we will begin with a small example. So this is my HubSpot account. And as you can see, these are all the contacts that I have uh, generated. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on this button to create a contact. So we are going to create a contact. Let's say the name of the person is, uh, that's the email of the person is Ronald Rose 123 at the rate gmail.com. Some random email that's coming into my head. That's all. And the first name is uh, Ronald. And the last name is uh, Ross. And uh, the job title, he works as a dentist. Dentist. Okay. Now, um, the phone number of Ronald Rose is this one. Okay. So that's just a random bunch of characters. And let's say he's added as a subscriber and the lead status is new. And let me just click on create a contact. Okay. So a contact called as uh, Ronald Rose has been added. Okay. So he works as a dentist. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on Salesforce and this is the leads page of Salesforce and I'm going to refresh this. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, we do have a lead called as Ross Ronald. So basically this is the lead that we wanted. Okay. Ronald Rose. So basically this is the whole gist that whenever a new contact is added in HubSpot, it will be reflected as a lead in Salesforce. So to begin the actual integration process, let me just type pabli.com. So your obvious question is why pabli.com? Well, we have an integration app called as Pabli Connect that will integrate HubSpot and Salesforce. So what I'm going to do here is this is the website of Pabli.com. Let me just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also build your own free account in just two minutes. So let me just uh, scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button create workflow. Now before I create a new workflow, there is something I have to do. So as you can see, the earlier integration was working on this workflow. So I'm just going to switch this off. If I don't switch this off, it will give me two results. So that will be a problem. It's actually none of your concerns. So let us uh, begin from scratch by just clicking on create a workflow. So as you can see, we have to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as uh, HubSpot. HubSpot to Salesforce. Okay, so this is the name of the workflow. Let me just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as HubSpot because we want to send the data from HubSpot. That is why. HubSpot, HubSpot CRM. Okay. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new contact added? Okay, so new contact added is a trigger event. So your obvious question is what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks the question if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new contact is added in HubSpot, then what action should be taken by the system? Now at present, we do have a lot of uh, triggers that is new line created, contact updated, company updated, new ticket, new form submission, all of them are a bunch of trigger events. Now, in case if you want more triggers of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate to custom build a trigger event for you. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new contact is added in HubSpot. So basically what we're trying to do here is we are just trying to integrate at the first phase HubSpot to Pabli Connect. So let me just click on connect with HubSpot. So in the new credentials, we have to fill in the API key. So to get the API key, let me just go to HubSpot. Okay. And let me just click on this uh, gear icon. So basically this is our settings in HubSpot. Okay, so we have entered the settings page. So under the integration tab, you will find the option called as API key. Click this. Okay, yes. So this is our API key. So let me just uh, click on show. Okay, of course I'm not a robot. Okay, so let me just uh, copy this. This is your API key. Okay, copy this and simply paste it here. Okay, so we have entered our API key. Let me just click on save. 
okay so basically the usual process of integration is uh, when we click on with the triggering app a webhook url will appear here okay a webhook url will appear here so basically we just copy this webhook url and paste it into the triggering app to interconnect with public connect but uh, cases like hubspot all we have to do is just click on save and send test request so when i click on save and send test request it will fetch the data of the recently created contact I repeat again when I click on save and send test request it will fetch the data of the recently created contact. Now as you may remember the recently created contact was uh, Ronald Rose. So when I click on save and send test request it will fetch the data of Ronald Rose. So let me just show you that. Okay so as you can see we do have uh, the data. So where is Ronald Rose? Yeah. So as you can see, this is the data of uh, Ronald Rose. He's a dentist, subscribe to all those things. So what I'm going to do you for your consideration i'm just going to create a new contact with a different bunch of uh, credentials okay so let me just click on create a contact okay so the name is let's say uh, how about uh, andrew andrew the third at the rate gmail.com just a random name that's all now the first name is andrew the last name is john okay and uh, okay so the job title is he's working as a designer and uh, this is andrew's phone number a bunch of random random numbers that's all and the life cycle status he's actually a subscriber and the lead status i'm keeping it as new so let me just click on create okay so as you can see a contact called as andrew john has been added in hubspot so when I go to public connect and when I just act once again click on save and send test request it will fetch the data of the recently created contact okay so the recently created contact is Andrew John so let me just click on save and send test request okay so as you can see this time it will be showing the data of Andrew John so let's uh, just explore the details so we have John then he's a designer and he has been added as a subscriber so where is our first name so the first name was uh, Andrew okay so this is his gmail id okay so yeah so we have the first name and uh, this is his uh, email address andrew the third at the rate gmail.com so basically using all this data of andrew we are going to create a lead in salesforce so to do that let me just uh, introduce you to one more window so this window is called as the action window so here we just going to type salesforce that's easy it's just easy and in the action event just uh, let me just click on create lead okay so create a lead is an action event there are many more action events like create contact create account create campaign create task all of them are a bunch of action events now just like the triggers if you have trouble finding the action event according to your choice you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabli.com to custom build a action event for you but at present i just want to create a lead in salesforce so let me just click on connect with salesforce in the new credentials let me just click on connect with salesforce Okay, so now Public Connect is uh, asking access. So before you click on allow, let me tell you something. Public Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with this. Okay, so on the basis of that trust, let me just press allow. Okay, so it is showing the authorization is successful. Just press OK. So as you can see, a set of uh, blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of these blanks is very simple. We are going to create a lead in Salesforce from the data that we have received from HubSpot via Public Connect. Now, before we start mapping, let me just uh, fix our last name. So let me just introduce you to this button. This button is called as the mapping button. When we click this, we will find all the data that we have received from HubSpot. So basically, this is the accordion that we are going to use. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the last name I think was John. I think John, yeah. So we have mapped it. Okay, now coming to the first name. The first name was, uh, the first name was Andrew. Okay, yeah, so Andrew. Now coming to the title, we don't have any data regarding the title. Now as far as the company is concerned, we don't have any data regarding the company, but we do have uh, the job profile. So I think it was the designer. Now since this field is required, so we have to enter. So I have uh, mapped it as designer. Now coming to the phone number. So this is my, this is uh, John's phone number, Andrew's phone number. So this is the random numbers that we had put. Okay. Now coming to the email. So let me just uh, map in the email okay so the email is uh, let me just uh, scroll down okay so let me just scroll down even more okay yeah so this is the email okay so basically we don't have the data regarding the website description lead source so at present i'm keeping the status as open not contacted or yeah that would work the rating as warm 
okay no specific reason just some just like that i prefer warm bird okay and uh, the street city country we don't have the data regarding that because hubspot didn't have the fields to fill that so i'm just going to ignore all of these so when i click on save and send test request it will create a lead in salesforce so let me do that let me just click on save and send test request okay so the api response is showing the data has been sent so let's have a look so as you can see we do have a lead called as john andrew okay so he's a designer and this is his email and this is his phone number so basically we have successfully integrated hubspot and salesforce with help of public connect now before you end this video let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell so let me just minimize this action window and let me just minimize this trigger window so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first you integrated hubspot to public connect and then you have integrated public connect to salesforce so now there's a perfect flow of data between hubspot and salesforce excellent not just these two apps, you can integrate up plenty of applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.